So for once, the Pittsburgh Steelers abandon the log cabin in-house hiring and go outside the organization and pick up an overqualified coach. Now, do I like the hiring? Yes. Uh, uh, but at the same time, uh, the two positions that we gave him, linebackers coach and defensive uh, senior defensive assistant, I really would have loved this guy to be our defensive coordinator. Uh, but the fact that he's even on our coaching staff at all, I, I is um, I, I do like the I do like it. I, I do think that our defense uh, can learn uh, quite a bit from him. And, and and this is the same guy that act, that literally turned the Dolphins from a laughing stock uh, tanking team into for the first half of 2019. Um, into a competitive football team despite their weak roster. Uh, but, but but yeah, you know, like I said, I was hoping that we would get him as our defensive coordinator, but I still like the fact that he's on our defensive coaching staff. Um, and I am and I am confident that he can maybe um, help out our our weak atrocious linebacking core, though it does still need to be addressed with players anyway. And now, does this change the fact that we have a lot of holes on the, on this roster to fill? Uh, no. We still have uh, too many needs to compete in 2022. Uh, but, but if we let this guy do his job and get him, and, and you know, um, get and have and have him uh, have as much control of the defense as possible, even though he's not even the defensive coordinator. But if we give him access to a lot of our defensive unit as a whole i mean i mean i can maybe see us pulling some upsets in 2022 but still i expect this team to be very bad this upcoming season and now i know what some of you guys may be thinking oh but minka fitzpatrick wanted out in 2019 back when flores was their head coach um actually no the fact of the matter is you see uh guys the first half of 2019 was a tanking dolphins team the second half was a more competitive Dolphins team. And that was single-handedly because of Brian Flores. And now what I really want to see here is that, you see, I, I don't want us to use him as a puppet for Mike Tomlin to dingle his fingers with. It's because, because this is a guy that's going to want to have a lot of access to the defense from top to bottom. And that's why Mike Tomlin, like for him, like if we want to keep Brian Flores, Mike Tomlin needs to step out of the way and let him do his job. Okay, okay, that's what needs to happen, or else Brian Flores is likely going to want to leave. And of course, if we, if we, of course, if we lose Brian Flores to our from our coaching staff, I'm, I'm going to be really fucking pissed because this is one of the better coaches in the game, literally. And this is also one of the only coaches from the Belichick coaching tree that are actually good. Him and Mike Vrabel. The rest of them are just utter garbage. And when I was checking Twitter like shortly after I heard about this, I saw Steelers fans ex just all excited as if this is some legendary hiring. Now, now don't get me wrong, it is a good hiring, but at the end of the day, um, it doesn't change the fact that we have so many holes on our roster to fill. And in my opinion, it is going to take like three to four drafts to fix this, um, but 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 I'm but I may have another video on those on those Steelers off season and what and what they and what moves they should make to improve the roster. But for this video, it's about Brian Flores, and like I said, I mean this is I mean, this is a guy that has worked on both offense and defense. Though defense is his main specialty as a coach. And that's and that and that is why I I think we're I think we're gonna see the defense learn uh, quite a bit from him um, during his time here, and hopefully we and, and and now my dream is for him to become the def the, the defensive coordinator and maybe even the head coach, uh, but of course knowing that uh, that the Roonies love Tomlin so much because he's never had a losing season. I mean, I mean, they're probably going to keep him until his contract expires because, because we all know that Talman is not going anywhere. So why even bother um, trying to get the fire Talman trends uh, when it's not going to happen? It's just not. Uh, but yeah, my dream scenario would be to see Brian Flores one day 
become a Steelers head coach. But sadly, I don't think it's going to happen. But I hope to God it does. Now, if I had to give this hiring an actual grade, I would give it a B plus. The reason I wouldn't say A minus A or A plus is because um, he's overqualified for the positions that we, that we hired him for, which are senior defensive assistant and linebackers coach. Uh, but I, I am confident that this defense can uh, learn quite a bit from him. Now, I wouldn't quite say that I love the hiring, though if we hired him as our defensive coordinator, I would say that I love the hiring, but I'll just stick to saying that I like the hiring. I, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Um, so finally, for once, we make a good coaching hire uh, rather than, you know, sticking to our same old BS with the log cabin in-house hiring. And for once, not only do we go outside the organization and hire a coach, we hire a very good coach. Uh, one of the better coaches in the league. And yes, I am saying one of the better co coaches in the league because he uh, made a, a Dolphins team that had a weak roster outside of Tua. Um, and, and I guess you can say that, say maybe his, his defense too. Outside of that, um, the, I mean, the, the Dolphins roster was kind of weak for the most part, especially their offensive line and run game and the receivers outside of Waddle, he made uh, a weak, a supposedly weak Dolphins team look very competitive. So that's why I like bringing in a guy like Flores. But he should be our defensive coordinator, not Terry o. Austin, the same guy that allowed three straight games of 500 yards of offense back when he was on the Bengals as their defensive coordinator in 2018. Uh, so overall, um, yes, good hiring, but I wouldn't say great. Only because of the two positions that we gave him, which he is overqualified for. I may have another video out on, um, on the Steelers offseason needs, uh, but that'll do it for this video. And I am out.